We start off at the hub of the ship, the atrium. This large and impressive area is spread over three decks. This is a great place to relax during the day and during the evening, and you can also take part in the many fantastic events that take place. The atrium is home to the very popular dance lessons, and it is the venue for the captain's welcome event. Just off the main atrium on deck 5, you'll find the art gallery. Here you'll find an impressive range of modern and contemporary artworks and sculptures, all available to purchase. Deck 5 is also home to the P&O shop, where you can purchase a whole host of branded P&O merchandise, as well as any of those holiday essentials you might have forgotten. If you're interested in checking out any future cruise deals or even a query about your Peninsula loyalty, the Future Cruise and Loyalty Desk is there to help. Located just off the atrium, you'll also find the library with a wide selection of books and games to keep you entertained for hours. On Deck 5, you'll also find the first of Azura's main dining rooms, the Meridian Restaurant. This restaurant offers freedom dining and is available for your evening meals. It's classic in styling and we enjoyed the vast majority of our meals in this restaurant. We really appreciated the classic feel of the restaurant and the branded P&O cutlery that you don't find on modern ships. Located on deck 5 just off the atrium, you'll find Java, Azura's coffee shop. Here you can purchase premium teas and coffees and even a sweet treat. There's a modern and relaxed feel to Java and there's plenty of seating available at either side and if you're very lucky, you might get a window seat. At the front of the ship on deck 6, you'll find the stall's entrance to the playhouse, Azura's Theatre. With West End style shows, talented singers and visiting comedians each evening, the Playhouse Theatre hosts some spectacular entertainment. With two shows nightly, there is plenty of opportunity to catch a show. It's advisable that you pre-book all of the theatre shows before boarding using the My p o website. Deck 6 is also home to one of p os favourite venues, Brodie's. With sports events shown live, daily quizzes, karaoke, Brodie's is a very lively and popular venue on board Azura. There's a traditional pub theme and you can also play pool for free. Next to Brodie's you'll find Azura's Casino. The venue consists of a number of slot machines and also a few tables. Just off the main atrium on deck 6 you'll find reception. Open 24 hours a day, the team on board are here to answer any of your queries and questions. Deck 6 is also home to the vast majority of shops on board Azura. Located around the atrium, you'll find a whole host of duty-free goods for sale. From jewellery to clothing and also those fragrances, Azura shops have something for everyone. Deck 6 is home to Azura's duty-free tobacco and spirits outlet. Located just above the Meridian restaurant, you'll find the second of Azura's main dining rooms, the Peninsula restaurant. Almost identical in decor and styling as the Meridian restaurant, the Peninsula restaurant offers freedom dining and is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And on Azura, during sea days, you'll also be able to have a classic afternoon tea. Located at the aft of Deck 6, you'll find the Oriental Restaurant, Azura's final main dining room. With a more contemporary and modern feel, this restaurant offers fixed time dining. With two sittings, this can be requested at the time of booking. All three of Azura's main dining rooms offer the same menu that changes daily. On deck 7, you'll find the upper entrance to the Playhouse Theatre. Here, you'll be able to have an elevated and uninterrupted view of all of those fantastic performances. Located on deck 7 is another P&O fan favourite, the Glass House. 
The Glass House is a dual venue that specialises in both wine and pleases those looking for a light bite. Headed up by TV wine expert Ollie Smith, we loved heading here for a sophisticated evening drink. Please remember food items here are chargeable and are not included in your standard cruise fare. The last of Azura shops are located on Deck 7. These shopping venues specialise in watches and fine jewellery, all at a duty-free price. The Blue Bar, located at the top of the atrium, offers a relaxing atmosphere with a pianist in the evening. It is a great place to grab a pre- or post-dinner drink. It's also a fantastic spot to sit and view the activities in the main atrium. Malabar is another venue where game shows can be found. This uniquely decorated venue has a great bar and is located on deck 7. Malabar hosts a large variety of piano quizzes hosted by your entertainment team as well as guest entertainers and acts. Malabar is decorated very differently to that of other venues on Azura, however it is a very popular destination. Sindhu, located on Deck 7, offers diners a taste of Indian cuisine with dishes tailored to appeal to the British market. The area is light and airy and tastefully decorated. It also has a fully stocked bar. We loved the restaurant and the quality of the food. Sindhu certainly has become a firm favourite. This is a speciality restaurant, therefore additional charges will apply. You'll also find the photo gallery on Deck 7. This is the place to go to view and purchase any of the photographs taken of you during your cruise by the onboard photography team. At the aft of Deck 7, you'll find Manhattan, Azura's clubhouse. Manhattan is a large venue with ample seating and tables. However, due to its popularity, it's recommended that you head here early. With entertainment each evening, this venue is a great addition to the evening's enjoyment. Whilst on board, we enjoy great singers and comedians. Manhattan is Azura's late night venue and it is open until the early hours of the morning. Azura's promenade deck is also located on deck 7. Although not a full wraparound prom, it's still a perfect location for taking in those views and getting some sea air. On many of the decks with passenger cabins, you'll find a laundrette. You'll find irons and ironing boards, as well as washing machines and dryers. Although you will need to provide your own detergent. Full instructions on how to use the washers and dryers are available, as well as opening times. During our cruise on board Piano Azura, we stayed in inside cabin A611 and we've put together a full cabin tour and review, the link to which is in the description. At the aft of deck 14 you'll find one of Azura's outdoor pools, the terrace pool. A number of sunbeds surround the pool, it's a perfect spot to take in those wake views. On deck 15 you'll find one of Azura's main pools, the Coral Pool. As you can imagine, this area is incredibly popular and there are a number of activities and events hosted by the entertainment team throughout the day. You'll find a large variety of live music played here and also those sail away parties. The Coral Bar is located right next to the Coral Pool so you're never too far from a refreshing beverage. Right next to the Coral Bar, you'll find the Poolside Grill. Grab yourself tasty burgers, fantastic hot dogs or just some fries. Here, you never need to stray far away from your sun lounger. And best of all, it's all included in your cruise fare. Ice creams and pizzas can be picked up from the pizzeria and ice cream parlour just located on deck 15. Pizzas are complimentary and are included in your cruise fare, however ice creams incur a small charge. Another of Azura's outdoor pools is the Aqua Pool located on deck 15. The sea screen overlooking the pool is used to show some of the latest film releases. This area includes many sun loungers spread across deck 15 and 16, however it can get very, very busy. 
Separating both the aqua and coral pool areas, you'll find a large raised area with sun lounges. These areas of the ship are slightly secluded so you can relax and enjoy the sunshine. As with most ships, if you are planning on enjoying the sun, it's advisable to grab a sun lounger early. Right next to the aqua pool, you'll find the aqua bar. The bar is fully equipped with all of your favourite tipples. Deck 15 is also the home of the Venetia Buffet. This venue serves passengers at almost any time of the day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, afternoon tea and even midnight snacks are all available here. The offerings available change daily. There's ample seating available with windows on either side creating a relaxed and light atmosphere. Behind the Venetia Buffet, you'll find the Verona Buffet. This venue has a completely different design and decor. During our cruise, no food was available from this buffet, as we believe it's all dependent on the ship's occupancy. Passengers were still free to sit down and use the tables and chairs that were available. The Verona Buffet is also home to the Beach House, another of Piano Azura's speciality restaurants. During the Beach House opening time, Times, areas of this buffet are sectioned off for the beach house use exclusively. The beach house has a mix of South American, Caribbean and American style dishes. There is no dress code in this venue so it's perfect for those more casual diners. This venue does have an additional charge. At the aft of deck 15 you'll find the terrace bar. This venue services the aft of the ship, including the terrace pool. It has a number of tables and seating available. The terrace bar is accessible via the buffet and also the aft stairs. On deck 16 at the front of the ship, you'll find the adult only pool, the Oasis pool. Surrounding the Oasis pool on deck 16, you'll find the Oasis spa. The spa offers a vast variety of different treatments and there's a fully equipped thermal suite including the jacuzzi, spa, sauna and steam room. Use of the spa and the thermal suites all incur an additional charge. Located in the Oasis spa, you'll find the free to use gym and health club. This area is perfect for those fitness addicts or those just wanting to earn themselves an extra cocktail. Surrounded by glass windows, the gym at the front of the ship offers some truly spectacular views to work out to. Located in the Oasis Spa on deck 16 is the Style Studio. Here you'll find a fully equipped hair salon and a male barber's. For those special occasions, Deck 16 is also home to the Ivory Suite. This tastefully decorated venue is used for weddings and the renewal of vows. Breakers Bar on Deck 16 is another incredibly popular venue on Azura. The bar overlooks the Oasis Pool and is the perfect spot to take in any of those daytime activities. During organised events by the entertainment teams on board, such as sailaways, the venue becomes incredibly busy. This creates a really great atmosphere. To the right hand side of Breakers Bar, you'll also find a designated smoking area. From Deck 16, you're able to walk all the way round the front of the ship. You'll be treated to some spectacular views, especially on sea days. Deck 16, you'll also be able to walk past the coral and oasis pools towards the aft of the ship. Here you'll find some traditional deck games as well as the stairs to access the aft of Azura. Deck 16 of Azura is also home to all of the onboard kids clubs. P&O offers a whole host of activities to keep your little ones entertained and it's free for 2 to 17 year olds. On Azura, they've got an outdoor activity centre as well as a splash pool. Ensuring your children have an absolutely amazing time on board. Deck 17 forward is the adult only sun lounger area. You can also access the Oasis pool from here. The retreat is also accessible via this area. The retreat is exclusively for adults with numbers being limited, making for a very relaxing atmosphere for an additional cost you can choose from private cabanas or private sun loungers. 
Located at the aft of Deck 17, you'll find the speciality restaurant, The Epicurean. This restaurant is all about fine dining. It offers dishes inspired by classic British ingredients with a modern twist. Take your time here and enjoy the wonderful ocean views. This is a speciality restaurant, so expect to pay a little more here. The Epicurean on Azura also has a small outdoor section, which is perfect for wake views. Located towards the aft of Deck 17, you'll find a staircase that will give you access to the tiered sections on Azura. There are lots of little sections and decks dedicated to sun loungers. These areas are absolutely perfect if you enjoy a more relaxed atmosphere away from the main pool area. Located right at the top of the ship on Deck 18, you'll find the Planet Bar. Isolated from many of the other bars and venues on Azura, this bar can often be missed. This chic bar with live pianist is the venue to head to for that evening drink or perfect cocktail. As the Planet Bar is located at the aft of Azura, it offers some exceptional sea views. On deck 19, you'll find the golf and sports area. If you want to practice your golf or just play a little bit of basketball or tennis, this area has you covered. There are also a large number of sun loungers and we always found this area of the ship the quietest and most relaxing. This area is the highest accessible deck, giving some absolutely incredible views. If you're hungry for more Piano Azura content, we've got lots more available on our YouTube channel. In our Piano Azura vlog series, we review and look at everything that Azura has to offer. Thanks for watching our Piano Azura ship tour. If you've got any comments or questions, just pop them in the box below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss a video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more content available on our YouTube channel, so press that subscribe button. If you're interested in receiving daily updates, we're available on most social media platforms. Just search for Tom and Dom Travel.